In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to add 47% more stiffness and rigidity to the front end of your Camaro. How are we gonna do that? Well, we're gonna install the strut tower brace. There's a lot of consensus that this strut tower brace isn't really needed for the sixth gen Camaro, and that's why they didn't include it. Uh, however, we'll install it, I'll show you how to do it, and then I will follow up with a review video later this year, comparing it to without and with the strut tower brace installed. So stick around and I'll show you how to do the install. Here's what you're gonna need to do the install. First, we'll need the strut tower brace itself. That's pretty obvious, but you never know, so I'll cover that. I'll have the part number in the description for you. You're also going to need a torque wrench that can do 16 to 25 pounds or so. Bolts need to be tightened down to 16 foot pounds. Um, some of them 22 foot pounds, and I'll kind of cover that in the, during the install. And then of course you'll need a 13 millimeter socket and a wrench, whether that is half inch drive, three eighths drive, that is up to you. I'm using a half inch drive with a uh, 13 mil deep well. Deep well is not required, half inch is not required, but that's what I'm gonna use to get a little bit more leverage. That's all you're really gonna need for this install, so let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start on the passenger side of the vehicle. The first thing that you want to do is locate the two bolts that need to be removed. One of them is going to be retained. Those two bolts are the strut tower bolt that is closest to the windshield. This one will be reused. The other is the brace bolt that is already here that is closest to the strut tower. There's two of them here. You're going to remove this one and either discard it or set it aside if you wanna ever remove this, which I'm gonna keep this just in case. The kit does come with a longer bolt that you will use to replace this. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Once we have these bolts removed on the passenger side, I'm gonna move over to the driver's side. On the driver's side, again, you're gonna get the strut tower bolt or the strut mount bolt that is closest to the windshield and then the brace bolt that is closest to the strut tower. Now that we have the driver's side bolts off as well, we are ready to set the tower brace on and reinstall the bolts. I'm going to hand tighten these first to make sure they are properly seated. Once I have it finally in position, I'm gonna go ahead and jump to some uh, battery power here to kind of speed things along. I'm gonna start with the two inside bolts. I'm gonna get them snug, then go to the outside bolts. And then once I have them snug, I'm gonna switch over to my torque wrench and set them to 16 foot pounds. And 
and that's it. Once you've done the four bolts and put them back in and torque them to spec, you're done. Shut the hood, go for a drive and see how it does. Now, earlier in the video, I mentioned that the torque rating is between 16 to 25 foot pounds. On some models of the Camaro, the strut tower bolts have an integrated washer. Mine have a separated washer. The bolts with an integrated washer require 22 foot pounds of torque. I'll make sure I have all of the part numbers in the description. I'll also leave links to all the tools that I use and check out the recently released merchandise. If you want to rep, follow my line on your shirt. I have hats, mugs, whatever it might be. Feel free to check out the store also down in the links below. Until next time, till the next project, we'll see you then.